It's a uh, busy afternoon on Nanji, the boatyard here. We go in the water tomorrow. <sighs> what a feeling that is. But so the surveyor came today, he knocked around on the hull, got the big tick of approval, mind you. So I'm pretty stoked with the hull inspection. I'm not sure what he'll write up about the rest of Nanji, but we'll wait to see the report. Uh, Nanji's ready to go in the water, but she's not really ready to sail away. So she's not fully <laughs> equipped with all her fire extinguishers and flares and stuff at the moment, but uh, it's on order. <laughs> got Steve, he's, a, uh, he's another yachty here. Uh, after the experience that I had with the old Davits there, we opted for the uh, skilled professional because still a little bit pissed off about the Davits, but I uh, just need to, because of those safety lines, had to weld a couple of little rings on, so Steve's doing that for us. But uh, I've got a little the bit, bit of the glass job at the bottom of Nanji I need to touch up, so we go in the cradle tonight. Tomorrow we go in the water, but we just need to put Nanji up to so knock these blocks out so I can just have a look at the keel if I need to do a little bit more glassing tonight and then do the rest of the end for our tomorrow. Boys are lifting up and then get into the grinder. Yeah! Hey, mum! Hey, tomorrow! Woohoo! Feels good, eh? Feels really good. Yeah. So Lulu's gonna be a little float baby very soon. She's about to experience the float. She is. This is what it's come to. Sun is setting, car is on, with the headlights on full beam. <sighs> this glass job's a little bit more than I had anticipated. Just gonna wrap it around, it's not a big job, but still, I was hoping I could just whack it with the grinder and walk away, but I've whacked it with the grinder and now I need to glass it up again because I went a little bit ham. Oh, it is what it is. Last night, tomorrow we're in the water, so you gotta do it now. You just gotta do it. Uh, that glass patch looks pretty sick. I managed to uh, wipe down all the top sides there as well because Steve, you know, when you get a grinder, uh, just buffing shit everywhere. And then like, he didn't really do much cutting. It was super good of him. He, like, he tried his hardest to not get the grinder out around the area. But of course, when you're polishing up your welds, uh, you're going to get a little bit of splatter. So I just had to make sure I cleaned all of that off the deck and all down the top sides to make that nice and clean. Uh, yeah, and the glassing is done for the morning. So tomorrow I can just come and give that a quick little whack with the grinder. Don't need to ferret or nothing. You know, that's the good thing about Nanji. She's already got some shapes about her. So don't need to worry about that uh, perfection. And um, yeah, so that's all sweet. And tomorrow I can give the top sides are buff but for now it is good night because I miss my ladies and I gotta go see my ladies. Launch day tomorrow. Today's the day we are going back in the water. Nanji's up on the lift, the boys are ready and uh, we're about to start moving. This is this is so exciting. Like oh my god <laughs> yeah all right, here she goes. Oh my god. Ooh, we're underway. <laughs> Today's the day Nanji's gonna go back in the water. Is she gonna float? Oh my god. This is so exciting. I can't believe it, it's been so long. Nanji's been on, this is the longest Nanji's ever been on the hard stand because I felt pregnant and um, yeah, the lockdowns and stuff and all the hard work that Yosh has been doing. I mean, it's been months of hard work and yeah, this is, this is the reward right here. Oh my God. Great attack. Great attack. Oh boy, you still got it. So 
Matt from SV Briny Rose has come down to give Josh a hand so I can just look after Tallulah and the boys can sort out the boat and then I think Josh is going to help him launch their boat as well so because yeah, he they have a kid as well so yeah yeah such a good day So we're in the water, the glands all sweet, no water, seals all sweet, engine starts, fang is rumbling. For all the ladies that watch these videos, we're about to gain a, a, a whole heap of subscribers just from a man like that. Look at that figure. <laughs> the hard thing is now we have to go backwards and Angie doesn't like to go backwards. Full kill vessel, auto prop. We've got a pylon we need to dodge, so hopefully Y'all just got this under control. So Nandy's back in the water, now I gotta go and try to find her. I'm not sure what berth she was going in, but she's going in the marina here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of nice not having the <laughs> to, <laughs> to do that part of it. Thanks, Matt. All right, it's so freaking hot. Oh my God, the sun is just belting down. Luckily, Tallulah is asleep. She's gonna, probably gonna wake up cranky. Past the red boat. Ah, uh, yeah, sweet. Perfect. Yeah, no, spot, you wow, thanks for your help. All right, lucky I've seen Angie. Lucky we got a little berth on the end there, so it's not too hard to maneuver around. Okay. She's wet. She floats, eh? Hey. <laughs> that looks the quiet engine. Yeah. Lila. Here you come on board. Whoop. You're floating home. And just like that, we're in the water, gal. Hey, we're in the water. This is your new home. We did it, girl. We made it. We are on the water now. Tallulah's a boat baby now. Here she is. Just a couple of salties. Look at you, girl. Hey. Girl. Got it. <laughs> well then. Uh, yeah, baby. How's the rock of the boat? I didn't notice it until you know until you told me. Something you never noticed before. You started noticing it. Now that Nandy's back in the water, there's still some electrical jobs I'm finishing off and just general general stuff to finish tidying up Nandy to make her totally complete and then we can just move on. I don't want to be uh, still trying to do work around moving stuff on. Just just want to have it totally finalised, start with a blank canvas and we can move everything on and go from there. Um, but today I'm going to just first test out Flubber because Flubber, one of its tubes was a little bit down when we got back from Penang. And since I've been pumping it up, we've had a slight leak. I don't know if it's from a valve or what, but I tell you, there's nothing more frustrating than a slowly leaking tube on your tender. Um, so we'll just, I've, I've pumped it up and I'll give it another bit of a juice up now. And we haven't started the outboard either. So I'll put that on the back of Flubber um, and we're just going to give her a bit of a test run. I wonder if she starts, it'll start. She'll be right, mate. So we just give everything a little bit of a run through just test everything out bit of a shakedown before we take off here's the place to get flubber serviced if we go in if anything is wrong touch wood nothing is wrong but you just never know so you have to test these things out before we start traveling distances I 
just take off the old top of the old Suzuki 9.9 .9 here and have a bit of an inspection to see how she looks. Give her a bit of spray of lanolin, a bit of lubricant. Just check those uh, spark plugs. <laughs> yeah, well, if this starts, <laughs> good work, mate. <laughs> I see that as a small victory. Massive victory. Coming? Hey! Let's go! Hey! 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 Up front! trying to get it ready we're back in the water but I'm um, just getting it ready to leave again and so everything needs to be cleaned we've worked on it well Yosh has worked on every inch of the boat and so it's just there's dust everywhere everything needs to clean every little hole needs to be wiped out so that's what I'm doing and um, yeah uh, Yosh is working on installing some fans so we're just trying to work out where we want to put them so we went with the Sirocco fans these are the bees knees of fans we've been through a lot of um, really cheap ones that we found and none of them have lasted except for these so figure we might as well get these ones again uh, we got them from a website called seeker they have all different types of fans if you're in like an RV or camping or anything they have like a fan for whatever you're doing so I highly recommend you check out their website I think that this is the best place to install this fan um, because it gives you three different uh, areas so um, of cooling so you can put it this way you can tilt it down if you're sitting here you can tilt it out to like um, fan around the room and just create some circulation and then you can also turn it around this way and then fan yourself while you're cooking as well so I think that this for me is like the best place to put it it does three different areas they are pretty massive so I tried to hide this one in the corner to a degree uh, but you can't really stick out it in that corner. Then there's still like half of the boat that doesn't have any airflow. So I am with the boss in where she wants to put it. Uh, it just kind of hangs out there, but it'll definitely do what it needs to do in that position. So you were spot on correct there, Bonita. I just like my varnishing job. You can hide that bit. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong. I know power's on. Oh. One spade, two spades, three spades. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely a good position. You just sit it there and you just cop it sweet while you're doing the dishes. Or you cop it sweet while you're sitting here on the stove cooking a coffee in the morning. Oh, that's so good. All right, Nanji is now fanned. We have two, four, six of these Sirocco fans now positioned around Nanji. Two in the aft, two in the V, and two in the saloon. So that should create a great amount of airflow. And I can feel it already. My pits are relishing that movement of air. And sweet, that's one big job complete. Welcome back to boat life, hey buddy. Mm -hmm. 